Welcome to IBC 2022. It's been three long years since the world's most inspiring content and technology event occurred in Amsterdam. And Broadcast is here in Europe to engage with each other, unlock business opportunities, discover the latest innovations, and explore the exciting world of content. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Freddie of Nugent. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good, thank you. So you have a couple of new things here at the show. I'm excited to hear about. Tell me what's behind me. Um, so the newest thing that we're that we're showing at uh, IBC this week is Halo Vision. Uh, we announced this back at NAB in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, it got delayed a little bit, but finally it's being released on the 14th of September, so that's next week. Um, so Halo Vision is a surround and immersive analysis suite. Uh, it's designed for anyone who's working in surround and immersive audio. Uh, it's uh, basically for any situation where you can't necessarily trust your ears. So say you've been in the studio on a long day, uh, your ears are getting fatigued, you aren't sure that you're necessarily hearing what you think you're hearing. Uh, it, it, it's a kind of a fail-safe for that, or maybe if you're in an unfamiliar studio or an untreated room or whatever it is, any situation where you're like, okay, what am I actually hearing here? You, you, you want to wanna check. So it has multiple correlation views, uh, some kind of location views that allow you to see where the audio is focused in the, in the surround field. One major thing that we've added since we initially announced the plugin is the um, contextual correlation. So, all sounds very technical, but basically, um, what that what that is is um, most correlation meters um, don't take into account signal level. So, what that means is that if you have two signals which are out of phase with each other, even if one of them is significantly louder than the other one to the point where it's not actually going to cause any phase cancellation. Um, most correlation meters will still show that as kind of a uh, big red light, um, something's going on here, when actually in that situation it's not really going to have a major impact on the mix. Um, so the correlation meters in Halo Vision by default are weighted um, by signal level, so that means that essentially if you have that situation that I just described where you've got a signal that's much, much louder or much, much quieter than the other one, it's not going to display as being um, out of phase, or at least it's not going to uh, show as being as extremely out of phase. It's all, it's all weighted via signal level. Um, you can turn that off if you want more of a kind of standard uh, correlation meter. But yeah, the, the idea is that it's just making um, the boring parts of audio production uh, quicker and easier and more straightforward so that you can focus on the kind of exciting and fun parts. That's, that's what a lot of our tools are trying to do. So. Well, that's important thing. So um, can you tell me a little bit about what trends you might be noticing right now as far as technology in the media and broadcasting industry? Sure. So I guess, I mean, everyone's very excited about Dolby Atmos at the moment. That's been the case for a couple of years. Um, We've been pretty big on surround and immersive audio for a long time, so that's obviously exciting for us that, uh, that Dolby Atmos is, is now such a, such a, a hot topic. Um, with that in mind, I think that's definitely a direction that our plugins are moving in in general. Most of what we do now um, supports at least 712, so that's kind of the Dolby Atmos bed track uh, channel count. Um, and yeah, it's, you, you know, things like Paragon, the uh, reverb plugin that we released during the pandemic, um, that now it's a, it's, a, it's a surround and immersive convolution reverb. That wouldn't have made a huge amount of sense maybe five years ago, um, whereas now that's something that a lot of people really need. And I think, um, yeah, we're, we're in a position now where we're, we're trying to create tools which do the jobs that audio engineers might be used to doing in stereo and making it really easy to translate that to an immersive um, workflow. So yeah, people working in Dolby Atmos who might not be that familiar with Dolby Atmos, rather than having that headache of, okay, I know how to do this in stereo, how do I make this happen? Now I've got 10 or more speakers to worry about. You don't need to worry about it because we've figured it out. We've, we've got it, we've sorted it. So um, we've waited for some stuff that you've just recently put out. So can you tell me a little bit what we might expect from Nugen in the near future? Sure. Uh, I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, I'd say 
uh, without going into too many too many specifics, one of our sort of major uh, flagship products is going to be getting. I'm not going to say which one, but one of our sort of flagship products is going to be getting a major kind of overhaul uh, over the next year or so, I'd say. Um, and beyond that, as always, we're you know we're always on top of kind of uh, regularly updating everything that we do. Pretty much any update that we make is free to existing users as well. So yeah, make sure. If you are a new gen user, make sure that you uh, download all the latest updates. So yeah, you know we, we, we're continually making those updates. But uh, yeah, some 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 new stuff on the horizon. Keep your eyes peeled. Very good. And so your website that people can go to to see all of this and more is it's newgenaudio.com. Okay, everyone, check them out. Thank you. It's always a pleasure talking to you. <laughs>